There really is only one way to describe my culture. Uh -huh. Hello, this is Grace, and this is my presentation on culture. So this is a slice of white bread. Um, I'm using it as a pie chart because I'm a slice of white bread, and I felt like it was fitting because I'm very white, as people are just telling. So that's my dad, and that's my mom. And my dad is 100% Irish, so I get half of that. Um, my mom is actually a bunch of different things. She comes from all over Europe. So she is 46% British, but I get 23% of it. Um, I get 19% of her Scandinavian background. Um, I also get 3.5% of her Western European background. I get 3% of her Iberian Peninsula background. 1% uh, European Jewish and 0.5% from Italy or Greece. So we actually had a, a DNA test done over the summer. Um, my mom took it, so we got to see everything that was on her side. Um, so that's where all these percentages are coming from. Um, I didn't know about the um, European Jewish or the Iberian Peninsula or the Italy or Greece. Um, we actually thought that um, my great-grandma was part Native American because she had uh, jewelry and stories that kind of reminded us of a Native American heritage, but she wasn't. Um, she was actually one of the earliest colonizers in the U.S. But strip all of these words away from a slice of white bread, and it's just a white piece of bread. I'm just kidding. That's me. I am the white bread. I am extremely white. Um, people like to tell me that. Now to see the flags and what makes up certain places. So the Irish, that's the flag of Ireland. Um, that's the British flag, you probably know what it looks like. Uh, there's multiple places in Scandinavia. There's Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. Now Western Europe, which is the next one, is a really big place. So there's a bunch of um, possible places. So that's Luxembourg, France, Austria, Belgium, the Netherlands, Ireland, Wales, and Monaco. Um, there's two places in the Iberian Peninsula. That's Spain and Portugal. And then for Greece and Italy, it's... That's a flag of Greece. I dropped the, um, the Italian flag in the sink. Okay, so European Jewish. I didn't know where that was um i looked it up it said it was from northern spain to russia that's where that's where they were from so that's what that is so all these flags they aren't just my culture they're the culture of all my ancestors before me um they all had their lives they all had what they were doing we don't exactly know because we weren't there obviously but they had their culture, and I'm so happy that I can be a part of theirs. So me and my mom are both really into, you know, like, who came before us? And she mostly, but me also, we've been looking back into all the, the pictures from the early 1900s and even before that of um, our family. And these are just a couple. Now, to clear up what I said before, what I showed you, um, I, I'm not necessarily from all those places. Those are just the possible places that I am from because Ancestry.com does not tell you exactly where you're from, which kind of stinks, but at the same time, it's good because you have a little bit more to explore. My family has a lot of traditions. We are a very sentimental people. So for birthdays, we do a lot of things. Um, we go out to eat with friends. We do something called the string, where in the morning, a family member pulls a string around the house and on the way to its end, there's the gifts for you for your birthday. Um, St. Patrick's Day is one of our favorite holidays. It's a day where we just go together and see all of our family and celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Halloween is one of the most 
fun holiday to celebrate for us because we go around Peekskill and we trick or treat everyone's houses. But lately, I've been decorating the house for Halloween and scaring children. Christmas is one of the most sentimental holidays for our family because it's one of the only times that everyone really comes together and we see each other. Um, in, on Christmas Eve, we come to my house and we celebrate there. And then on Christmas morning, we go to our cousin's house and then we celebrate the morning there and we'll all open presents together and we'll just have a really good time because we rarely see each other then other than you know holidays and music is a huge part of every single christmas we all play instruments summer brings a lot of fun and a lot of memories every single year um me and my friends and my family we all play sports and we do things together and we also go upstate it's like a little community with a bunch of friends and family um there is a fourth of july parade every year that we are in and that's probably one of the best experiences because the fire truck is always like spitting water at people and it's always really really hot but it's always really 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 fun um and upstate we just do a lot of stuff together as friends and it's a really 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 awesome time i've been going there since i was born basically other traditions include being an absolute weirdo with my family and my friends um doing lots of arts and crafts um we also used to go to a lot of baseball games when i was younger i just recently went to one but we haven't gone in a really really long time and honestly, I really miss it. Uh, we also go outside and we garden a lot and we do things to improve the house. Why my culture is important to me. My culture is important to me because it allowed me to be myself. My culture and my traditions and my whole entire family really brought me up with the idea that you being you is the best thing you can do. And even though I'm just a slice of white bread, I know that's the way I'm supposed to be. Is it in your left hand? Yes. Is it in your left hand? Yes, it's in my left hand. Don't zoom in on me. (laughs)